it has been so long since I've made a video on my beloved CR250 with my helmet cam but now an entire year after I decided now's the time that I'm gonna start making videos like this more so um, a lot has changed on my channel well in, in my life in general since the last time I made one of these videos but uh, before I start ranting I'm gonna get right to the point this is going to be my first ride my initial impression on the steely 10 ounce flywheel weight for a 2001 Honda CR250 I just installed it yesterday I test rode it I noticed it was a little uh, the power was a little smoother and it stalled a little you know it was a little harder to stall but this is like a true first ride in the woods with it uh, it took about 15 minutes to install and um, the reason why I bought this uh, steely 10 ounce flywheel weight is because the trails that I ride in um, a lot of the times we're, we're in some really tough gnarly stuff where there's like rocks not you know not as big as that that's fucking huge but um you know there's like tires and shit there's all there's all sorts of shit in these New England trails so it's completely random what you're gonna stumble across especially in Freetown State Forest I went through like the most difficult trail you could possibly go through in that forest I didn't do the whole thing I just did like half of it but that was enough for me I didn't want to do any more yeah also I got a uh, I did a front end restyle this is a 2018 CRF 450R plastics that looks pretty sick I, I just I pretty much rebuilt like a third of this bike I did like cables carb clean plastics fork seals fork everything I completely rebuilt those the, the engine I didn't touch at all because that was actually sound that was mint I did I redid the reeds I just kind of cleaned off everything uh, wheel bearings you name it I did so much of this bike but here I am back out in the trails I'm gonna make more videos like this that's for sure but before I rant on too much um, I'm just gonna get right into riding I could definitely already tell this bike is harder to stall, which is fantastic, that's great. But the power is much more smooth. Like the two-stroke like light switch power band, this bike had it, but like I got used to it over time, so it kind of like faded away from me. But it definitely toned that down, I could tell. And why I'm stopping in this particular location is because for five months, I uh, I couldn't ride a dirt bike because my knee was broke. It, uh, I'm actually still recovering uh, to this day, uh, October 8th, 2018. I'm still recovering a little bit, but it's it's healed for the most part. It's whatever. But I don't know if you guys could pick it up. I'll just zoom in on uh, when I edit this video. But right there, there's a piece of the, the tree that's just like shaved a little bit. Like there's no bark. The front of my bike slammed into that tree. Or it could no, I don't think it was my knee, but could have been my knee. Anyways, I went flying over the bike, over the handlebars. I didn't hit that, thank God. I would have been fucked if I hit that. Um, yeah, I flew over the handlebars. I landed right there. I scooted myself over there. And then <laughs> I fucking, I just laid there for a solid minute. Some some guys came over on their bikes. They were like, oh shit, what happened? I told them I, I hit the tree. I don't know. I, I can't move. 
my entire waist down was numb. I couldn't feel that at all. That it just sucked. The day I broke my knee. Let's get back into this riding. That's going to be my fail compilation.
right off the bat, the bike is definitely more tame. Um, at first, it, it's kind of weird because you can definitely feel the effect of the flywheel weight at the beginning, like when you roll on the throttle in like a low gear, if you're like in a low RPM, you can feel it all day. But like if you're in like a high gear just pinning it, you're not going to know a difference. It doesn't take away from horsepower, it doesn't make the bike uh, rev lower, like it doesn't fuck with the RPMs at all. It's definitely good for some, like there's a couple instances over there where uh, I definitely was saved by the weight. Like um, did, you saw that I was completely stopped on a, on a hill climb, it was like that steep. You know, it's like a, it's not really a steep, steep hill climb, but it had some gain to it. But uh, I was stopped right on it in second gear and I just lugged up it like a tractor. That was second gear. That was impressive because if I didn't have that weight in, that thing would just be like jerking back and forth up the thing. Probably stalled too. I had to feather the clutch pretty good, but this flywheel weight's pretty good. I'm going to test it out in Freetown State Forest. Well, not really test because, you know, it'll, it'll, it's already in there. It's not like there's any more testing to do. $120 weight. I mean, I could refund it maybe, but I'm, I'm liking the results so far. I do recommend this for people who are trail riding and such because this is a, this is a solid investment. I really do like it. I just have to, I have to test it in more technical trails because the stuff back here, it, there's only so much rough stuff to do. I, I know the trails back here pretty much by heart and I, I, there's no new trails to discover. So I'm limited to kind of like open stuff. Like right there, like holy shit. I wish like there was a camera recording me here cause my ass, the ass end of my bike was like sideways. When I went on the throttle, I was in second gear. It just, it went right sideways. That was fucking crazy. I don't like that patch. If there was like a berm right there, I'd fucking hit it. But there's there's a tree in the way and there's no berm. It's kind of just a slight incline, but nothing to like rail or anything. But um, yeah, I want to show you something else too real quick. I was having issues with my rear wheel. I felt like it was like slipping just too much, like something was wrong. Uh, I almost bottomed out. I, I, uh, I jumped a fucking patch of grass way back there and I just I felt the whole bike just go boom so uh whatever <laughs> it's in one piece I got this Honda seat cover that's what I wanted to show you guys this is for a uh I believe a 92 to 96 Honda CR250 but it fits on a 2001 with no issues if you see this seat cover on eBay that's where I got it from it's not like a like an official you know well-known company that makes this it's kind of like a cheap company but if you see on ebay a seat cover for a cr125 or cr250 and it's black like this and it has ribs and it says honda and you want to get it for your uh your 2001 or 2000 cr250 go right ahead because it fits no problem no issue at all this video is pretty much wrapped up with that i'm very pleased with the results and there's still more, you know, kind of testing to do because I need to I need to go to Freetown even to get into some serious shit. Because this is all like fucking fly through it, zip, no problem. Everything's pretty solid here. Uh, and I also got one of those chain guides, a TDM or a TM something, TD. I don't know, but it's black, black plastic, like a really hard compound plastic, so it won't really get fucked too much. But uh, anyways guys, thank you for watching this video, if you did, and be sure to subscribe. I will be making more and more videos. Uh, my, my content's pro progressively going to get better and better, so you can be assured by that. Um, there's going to be more quality content. Oh, So uh, anyways guys, thanks for watching, and be sure to check out my next uploads.